Good morning everyone and welcome to a new Florida vlog. I'm just starting off out here by the pool area. I'm just sitting doing a little bit of editing, doing a few settings on a vlog. I answered a few work emails and a few WhatsApps. Yeah, look at the view we've got. I've been listening to the birds, just relaxing, chilling out. Looks like it's going to be a nice day today. Uh, so we're up. We didn't make early entry at Universal. We woke up, we set the alarm and we were just a little bit tired and uh, we decided we're going to do something a little bit different today instead. Uh, so we've got up now, we're either going to go and try a new coffee place or we're going to go somewhere for breakfast and then go from there. But yeah, just starting off out here, it's a lovely way to start the day. So nice. So yeah, just wait for Laura to get ready, chilling out here. As soon as Laura's ready, we'll be off. So we've devised a plan. We've seen a little coffee place, haven't we, on, on the uh, roadside? On 192, yeah. Exo Coffee, it's called. Yeah, and then you went online to have a quick look at it, and apparently they brew their own caramel. That's what it seems to say on the menu. It's, it seems pretty simple. Just <coughs> loads of different, a couple of, quite a few different hot teas um, and cold teas, a few different coffees, and a few pastries and cakes and stuff. Not over complicated, it looks nice and simple. You don't often see a different coffee shop that isn't Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts, so we're going to go so and give it a yeah, go. Definitely want to go and give it a try because it could be even better than Starbucks. Exactly, could be the best thing ever. A lot of people say, "Oh, you, why do you go to Starbucks so much over here?" In America, it's very different to the UK, Tenerife, Spain, Europe in terms of the coffee shops. There isn't really that many small local, local coffee yeah. shops, really. Not um, around here around here in particular, I mean, with the size of the highways and stuff as well, yeah. it's not often you see one that isn't, you know, a Starbucks or yeah, whatever. Yeah, when you so. go to different towns, or so smaller towns that aren't like touristy, you get them what around here, not so much. No, so uh, as we're driving around, it's always just a Starbucks and we like them, we grab them in the parks, it's a Starbucks, but we've spotted this one, something different. We'll go and give it a go, see what we think. I'm sure it'll be a nice coffee. Yeah. So it looks quite popular, you can chill in there and do a bit of work and stuff, yeah, similar really sort nice. of setup. So we'll do that, and then we're either going to go to a nature park, yeah. or maybe Gatorland. That'd be good as well, Gatorland, we have done Gatorland. Or something, we're going to work out what we're going to do. We're going to do a bit more of a naturey day, I think. Yeah. And maybe do a park tonight instead. Go and do something a little bit different this morning and today. Nice weather as well, 83 degrees. Yeah, it's nice. Nice and comfortable, isn't it? I know, it's lovely to be fair. We have had a little sleep in, a little chill this morning. We did need it, didn't we? Yeah, it gets, as I said, all, I've said it before, it gets harder and harder to get up as the holiday goes on. Yeah. As you get deeper and deeper into two weeks, your body gets more and more tired. Your legs get more and more achy. And uh, your body just craves a little bit more time in bed. I was still um, up. Was, yeah. I was still awake by half eight, just on the phone, answering emails and WhatsApps and bits and bobs. People were messaging me because obviously we're five hours behind. So I don't know if you can hear the speakers on the car behind booming away. There, it seems to be quite a popular thing over here. I to have seem your, to feel like have I can your speakers, feel it in my ear bones. Have your speakers vibrating that loud? Yeah. Uh, oh, there it you seems go. To be a, quite a common thing over here. It shakes the whole car. And that's a pool maintenance man driving around He's like that. He's working. <laughs> oh, it's insane. Yeah, I've had, seen quite a few, haven't we, this trip where it seems to be the fashion now to have your, your doors vibrating. Oh, I couldn't do it. I physically, that was making me bones in my ears vibrate. Yeah. I could feel it. Yeah, so we'll head off there for coffee. Hopefully that'll be nice and peaceful. Yeah, it's not far from here. We're just going to turn right here on 192 and actually yeah. comes up quite soon on the right. So we will uh, catch you there, show you what it's all about. Yeah. And enjoy your coffee. Here we are then, XO Coffee. I think that's how you must say it. It's uh, quite busy, couldn't actually park right outside it. So parked a bit further along. Let's give it a try. I'm ready for a coffee, Laura, to start the day. Before we have a, we're gonna have a bit of a nature themed day today, aren't we? Nature themed day, yeah, people. I think the lake outside the, uh, the villa's got me in the mood for a little bit of nature. So this is open from Monday to Friday, seven till six. And on Saturday, it's open from eight till seven, Saturday and Sunday. Oh, this looks nice. Something a little bit different. Well, 
Well, this is a very different feel to starting the day. Proper local coffee shop. The guy was uh, thankful of us coming. Uh, made up we were doing a little bit of a, a vlog for him, a little bit of a push. So let's try the coffees then, Laura, give it a go. He's made it with a lot of love and care. Yeah. Give it a go. It is very relaxed, got a lot of people working in here as well. Let's uh, give it a go, Laura, see what you think. Yay, yay. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Not too strong, yeah. Nice and caramelly. It did say you can put more in if we want it. Don't need more. No. No, it's, it's nice. nice not yeah. too strong. It's just a nice mild drink here. Yeah. Okay, I'll give it a go. Well, I must say, it's actually very, very nice. Very nice. It's um, almost like a fudgy caramel, it seems like. But yeah, like you said, not too strong, quite smooth. I like it. It's nice. You can tell it's different, you can tell it's made from a proper coffee machine and it's not that filtered stuff oh, going, yeah? It's not filtered, it's a proper latte. No, it is nice, genuinely is nice. I would come back 100%. Yeah, so was I. So I've just said to Andrew, I genuinely feel like I'm just eating, you know, the soft caramel that you get and it pulls a bit. That, I feel like I'm eating that. Oh, like it's fudge. really it's nice. It's got a bit of a fudgy tang to it. It's yeah, it's that caramel that, that you bite and it pulls apart, like in the roses box. Caramel yes, that pulls apart. Yes, I'm with you on that one. Yeah, yeah. the roses now you've said it. It's in the, the roses, roses the little harder, blue one. It's like blue harder, one, isn't it? Yeah. And when it's warm, you just bite it and it pulls off. And it, that's exactly what it is. It's nice yeah. now you've said it. You've, you've hit the nail on the head. Yes, yeah. lovely that. There you go. So it is like, like a toffee crunchy caramel, isn't it? It is, yeah. Definitely. Genuinely lovely. Just post on Instagram as well. Yeah, it's it really nice. nice. Yeah. It's chilled in here with the music and that. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Relax. So, completely different to Starbucks. We love yeah. our Starbucks. You still get the takeaway cups different. as well, so if you want to just grab a takeaway, you can. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Nice. Yeah, I'm glad we spotted it. I'm glad we popped in now. So while we chill here for a minute, just drinking our coffees, I'm gonna answer a few Q&A questions that a lot of people have asked. Uh, so Sean Mooney asked, are we gonna do Top Golf this trip? We did it a couple of trips yeah, ago. We have yeah. done it twice, got Top Golf. It is really good. And we like the food in there as well. But I think we might try the indoor go-karting instead yeah, this trip, just to, yeah. yeah. But we do love Top Golf. I mean, we would, if we were here for three weeks or something, we oh, probably yeah, would, but yeah. uh, we do like that. Uh, Cat Long, just back from Walt Disney World, was amazing. Do you prefer Universal or Disney World? Probably more Universal, however, we do love Disney. We, we love them for both different things, don't we? They're both very different. They're very different vibes. Um, they've both got their pros and cons. Yeah. Universal, over the last few years, has definitely stepped up their game. Yes. Um, and while they've stepped up the game, Disney has become very, very busy. I'm very regime based like sort of you have to book everything six to eight weeks in advance for Disney whereas Universal you can just go it's a, it's a little more. bit more casual so, the way Disney yeah. used to be yeah you don't need a park reservation and a lightning lane and a this and a that yeah and, a... and Disney only phone quite a lot because that's what everything's on Universal not so much so for us going as often as we can, we are and having annual pass passes we're not worried about getting on all the rides and worried about doing all the experiences because we we're happy to chill however yeah. if you this was a once in a lifetime holiday you would have to like yeah really go for it. it yeah but for us we just take them both as casually as we can and we enjoy them both uh mama anime figures why don't you try any disneyland parks in asia tokyo is world class um we would but i don't know it just doesn't attract me we love florida because we know what we're getting we know the weather's nice I know, then, we, with me with food what am i even going to eat something yeah it's, food it's wise be really, and andrew as well because you're a picky eater as yeah, well and we've got some great friends over here some great connections and stuff so yeah. we just know what we're getting over here we know where we're going what we're doing and it makes yeah. a big difference when it's you're coming yeah, away it's all creature comforts out here this is our second home yeah. so it's and i mean how much flying would you have to do to get to asia from tenerife it's probably a lot Three, quite, big, quite complicated yeah. Yeah. Um, do you prefer Galaxy's Edge or Pandora? Um, I would Pandora. probably say I like the theming of Pandora, but I do think Galaxy's Edge tops it. Galaxy's Edge is bigger. It's got more details. It's a lot more to look at walking around. I think. Yeah, but for me, I prefer the greenery and the plants in Pandora, and like the feels of Pandora over. Yeah. Yeah, Galaxy's Edge. Uh, Jade Lane, would you both go on a Disney cruise? We certainly would. We've done We've one done before. We've done one before. The only reason why we haven't done one since that is because the prices went up quite a bit. Yeah, it's quite expensive but now. We did love the cruise, and if money wasn't so much of an object, we probably would do it again. 
because it is fantastic because there's so much for kids to do the kids don't get in your way and there are adults only sections on the cruise so it's yeah. really good for that but it's just a bit more expensive than your average cruise uh, Jessica, how come you haven't done Mickey's Not So Scary because it's sold out? Completely sold out. Like I said, you've sold got to book out. six, eight weeks in advance. And yeah. we, we, you can't just go, oh, I fancy a bit yeah. of Mickey's Not So Scary, we'll pop in, it's all you sold out. The like whole event, whole event for this year is sold out every yeah. single night. With us, with our busy lives, we're booking our holidays last minute, some things just aren't feasible and Mickey's Not So Scary this year was one of those. Yeah. Uh, Paul Moss, uh, with a moon watch is easy to get hold of. We went to the Swatch shop uh, in Mall at Millennia and they had every single one apart from the moon one and... Neptune, was it? Neptune, I think well, the blue one. Neptune at all, but then halfway whilst waiting in line, the moon got sold out. Yeah, the moon one sold out as well. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Uh, so glad you finally went to Typhoon Lagoon. This is Lingo. How's it going? Uh, it's a classic and amazing thoughts on it. You'll have seen the vlog by now of our thoughts on Typhoon Lagoon. We thought it was really good. We'll go again. Go again. go again. I think it's great for a chill out afternoon or a chill out morning. Yeah, uh, I loved all the theming around it. Um, there's bigger and better slides out there in other parks, but I thought they were still very, very good. And it was, it was a nice, for a chill day, especially if you've got kids as well. It's great for the kids. You yeah. can with your kids. So. 100% go again. If we go back to comparing it to our visit to Volcano Bay, which we'll probably will have to do on our next trip, Volcano Bay, um, a lot more chilled, less less intense with the you can't wear this, can't have oh, that, take your shoes Bay, off, got to like get weighed. You can't weighed. wear your shoes on the slide, but then when you got on the slide and we got off, we're two completely different places, so you're like having to go all the way back up to the entrance. Yeah, so we found Volcano Bay a little bit more, less casual, less relaxed. Yeah. Uh, that's just our opinion. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Favourite shopping mall? Uh, definitely we have to be... Uh, in terms of a mall, Mall at Millennia, yeah, but if you want your outlet Millennia. shopping, in terms of shopping, we, we like um, premium outlets on Vineland. Uh, let's see, I'm just looking through. There's so many, it would be possible to, uh, for us to uh, answer them all. Uh, where did Laura get a Stranger Earrings? Stranger Things earrings from, I love them. That's from Belle Madison. I got them from Instagram, a girl on Instagram called Acrylic Addict. Very good, she does a lot of different acrylic stuff and um, she sent me over three pairs of earrings and one bag and I absolutely love them all. Over the month of October, I will be wearing them even in Tenerife. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're pretty cool I then. I think the earrings can be worn casually as well because they're not Halloween based. They no, are they're just Stranger, stranger things, things, aren't they? Yeah. earrings as well on the bag. Well, I'm going to put the bag on show. Um, Ethan, would you ever fly to Melbourne Airport? We would, but the, the prices were still coming up cheaper for Orlando yeah. for us, but we, uh, Orlando International, but uh, it, we do always check Melbourne. The yeah, flights with Tui. Yeah, we would. Yeah. It's yeah. not that long of a drive. The only thing with the Orlando Melbourne uh, flights is they're very they're on a strict regime, so you can only do two weeks. You can't do like what we've done, where we've done 15 days or 16 yeah. days. They only fly on strict Eight days, days yeah. yeah. So um, they're a little bit more restrictive. But if there was a two-week flight there, some people are picking them up for like 250 quid return. If you can do that, oh, then I certainly amazing. would. Yeah. yeah, we would certainly consider it. We do always check, but. For the last few trips we've done, international's always been cheaper. Yeah. Uh, when are you going to do Florida for Christmas? We'd love to come over Christmas. The thing is, with our with with work, with my business in Tenerife, it's very very busy. The two weeks over Christmas in Tenerife, where we live and work, are the busiest of the year. Yeah. And really, we have to be there. It's very very busy for us. It's not busy. That's the stuff either. No, so. Maybe one, maybe one year we'll manage to organise it all and everything, but mainly the thing is, we've got to be in work. We, we have and to be there with the, the businesses. Board, that's my, going to be my business time, yeah. so it's just best if we are in Tenerife for that time. Normally, yeah, and it's normally quite expensive to get over here for Christmas as well, accommodation and villas expensive and things. So. For Christmas. And it's quite busy, I'd rather come in November after um, Halloween, Halloween and catch all the Christmas catch stuff. It early, early on, yeah. Yeah, and uh, that's. See, we'll do a few more while we're in here. Uh, do, 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 do. Is it possible to do Universal without express passes and still get all get it all done in a few days? That's Don Wilds, definitely. Yeah. Definitely get there when the park's open. 100% you can do it without express. Yeah, 100%. especially over a couple of days, yeah, definitely. Yeah. 
Um, how Joe asks how to describe to someone to go to Disney Universal who doesn't get the hype. Well, it is tricky. I mean, a lot of people say to us, "Oh, you're going back again, and what's yeah, the big sure. deal with yeah, it and stuff?" My it's... family understand it. And I'm like, you don't understand till you're there. Yeah, it's but it's one of them. To... If you haven't been, it's, it, you can't really say anything. Yeah, you've and not you've been and tried go it. To feel it and decide whether you like it or not. Because I went, not knowing if I was going to like it, loved, fell in love. But I know other people went. Oh, we went and. Actually enjoy it, so yeah, but I think most day, most yeah. come and ninety five percent will say yeah loved it. Yeah. I'm uh, definitely yeah, going back. I'm hooked. Who doesn't love getting to meet Mickey? Who doesn't love getting to walk around in immersiveness? And who doesn't love going to the gators? And yeah, it's um, yeah. there's so much to do and there's there's a lot more to it. And people just think it's like you know coming to Alton Towers or something like that yeah. or. It, it's a different, it, you know, it just has a different feel to it. It's got all the great rides like Alton Towers and Thorpe Park and stuff, but it's a lot more immersive. You've got the great weather as well, and yeah. it's uh, it's tricky. It's one of those if you haven't tried or been, you can't really judge sort of thing. Um, let's see. Can rental cars be dropped to villas or hotels by companies? Uh, that's Pod uh, Padraig. I hope you're doing well. Uh, not that I know of. I don't know anyone who's managed to have that done. I think. You can maybe go to a depot and pick them up. Seems to be the thing, like a lot of people staying in Disney. It's a bit different how serious, isn't it? Yeah, I know people who stay in the Disney resorts, they'll go and they'll get an Uber to like the Hertz outlet uh, Hertz depot on 192 yeah. or something like that, but they don't really have like what we do in Tenerife where we but deliver them and oh my God, could you No, there's it? no like personal service like that. It, no. And let's see one more. Uh, how can you travel with only hand luggage? Any good tips? That's how I. Okay, so I do all the packing. Yeah. Um, if you go somewhere, know that you need a washing machine and a dryer. You, you need it. Take basic shorts that go with anything. Yeah. Comfy shorts, a couple of cool tops, a couple of um, warm tops, and then traveling with thickest gear. So you're like, your, your leggings, your jumper, your trainers, travel in those. And then if you're 100ml bottles, I made a mistake this time, next time, take whatever you need, dispense with 100ml bottles and then whatever you buy in the airport, buy in the airport. Yeah. So I would next time, if you don't have luggage again, would not take so many liquids and buy the rest of the airport. Yeah. That's always a good thing to do and just be really conservative, conservative with everything like, and just really think about how much product you're actually going to need. So I've only got like a tiny thing of body wash because you don't need that much But you can wash. buy all that here. I mean, with the clothes, you, you, you forget how much you can get in a 10 kilo case. I've brought like three pairs of shorts, uh, quite a few pairs of boxies, socks. I like the socks, so I buy them yeah. over here as well. Um, you can get a lot in and, and we also bring a rucksack as well so it's a 10 kilogram suitcase although they don't weigh them so you can have over 10 kilos really we've never had them weighed so it's a, it's a 10 kilo size but you can get a lot more in there uh, you really can if you pack properly I brought like three shirt shirts uh, four or five cool tops and you just you wash them as well and, and you buy stuff while you're out here as well yeah always make sure things can be worn at different times and stuff like that that's right always do make sure i've got a jumper when it's cold leggings when it's cold me yeah it's, like it's, it's a lot more doable than people and think underwear take the basic underwear don't take any fancy underwear just take things out there with a white top black top yeah it's very very doable we've done three trips with it now and it's actually far more convenient yeah. there's no lugging the cases around checking them in waiting around for the bag carousels yeah, exactly, all of that yeah. it uh, stops you overspending on merch oh i'll just get that i'll chuck it that in the case and oh, i'll just yeah, buy this bag, big sack of sweets time, and take yeah. it home it's um it cuts all that out doesn't it so yeah. We it's find it very doable, easy to do. Definitely doable. We save a lot of money as well because don't forget we've already got flights from Tenerife and back to Tenerife, which yeah. when you add a suitcase on is like forty quid each way. So there's eighty quid already. Then we save on the Florida flights even more again without yeah. a bag. And then we save a lot of time. So it's definitely doable. Think about it, consider it. It's very convenient yeah. and it cuts out all the oh what do I wear today? Oh I might wear that top. Oh no, I might wear that top. Oh, does that top go with these shorts? Yeah. You know, just have the outfits. Oh, there's my cool t-shirt. Pop, Pop it on, away one. we go. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, it is a lot more simple than you think. And last one we will go for is Laura. If Laura doesn't like Figment, who is her favourite character? That's uh, Jade does travel. Hi, Jade. You see, I love a good villain. I love a good Ursula Maleficent. Um, you got to pick one. Oh, I love Nico. Love Dopey. Oh, there's so many I love. 
I love Goofy. Well, I love the meet and greets with Goofy. You love really Eeyore good. as well, don't you? Love Eeyore, yeah. So you know, the bills are the little cute ones. They would be with a flounder. Right, yeah. okay, well there we go. That's a little bit of a Q&A done. Uh, thank you for everyone who uh, commented on our Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, do make sure you follow along. Uh, we do regular little Q&As and stuff. Yeah. Uh, so do make sure you give us a follow. I think uh, we're gonna quickly finish our coffees and then we'll uh, make a move. Yeah. So we've just pulled over for some fuel and uh, look at this for a car. Happy Halloween, but look at the back wiper blade. It's pretty cool, isn't it? It's got loads of uh, Halloween characters all over the windows. Pretty good fun. So just fueled up there at Walmart. I wouldn't fuel up anywhere else other than Walmart. Our last three or four trips now, we've always fueled up at Walmart. Yeah, cheapest. Um, yeah, cheapest. That was $3.19. Every other one I've seen on the highway, there's a war wall right there. Every other one has been $3.49. So 30 cents a gallon more oh, expensive. That's a lot. So for me, I just always fill up at Walmart, especially that one on the 192 is just always convenient, but if you're looking for the cheapest fuel still it's still walmart yeah definitely definitely so we're on our way to lake louise estate park this was highly recommended by one of our lovely subscribers he commented and recommended it on our facebook group uh, it's five dollars per car to get in which is absolutely nothing yeah and it's a lovely state park you can camp there they've got cabins they've got horseback riding uh, nature trails all kinds going on uh, i think you can and kayaks, stuff like that. So just gonna have a little look at it, see what it's like, see what's going on, see what's happening. I believe the horse riding is only on a Saturday, Sunday. That looked really interesting, but unfortunately that would have to be for another trip now. Yeah. Uh, Saturday, Sunday, you can do either a morning horse ride uh, for an hour and a half uh, with uh, coffee and donuts at the end, which was $75 each. Which is um, affordable, really, for what you're getting. Or there's, a, there's a sunset ride uh, which included champagne and that was $95 but it's only on a Saturday Sunday but yeah we'll give you a bit more info it's literally only just down the 27 so from Disney World you're looking at 30 minutes away um, so really not that bad especially if you're going early morning it opens at 8 o'clock I think or 8.30 you could be down here in no time we're coming oh, in yeah. sort of peak traffic hours but yeah that's where we're heading to Lake Louisa we'll see what it's like see if you uh, fancy a little day out here yeah. and maybe next time we'll come back and do the horse riding or the kayaking or something that we'll have yeah. Have a look at what's going on. I mean, I'd like to see you try and get on and off a horse, mind. That'd be great. I'm super flexible, me. I don't uh, think it'll go well. Image of fitness, me. <laughs> flexibility. Done my yoga already this morning. Oh my god. That that means you've got out of bed. He's on sit ups as well, haven't you? One sit up, getting out of bed. Sit ups, yoga. Um, I had my yogurt and granola with extra oh protein, god, yeah. extra berries. Yeah. And that was gluten free, wheat free, vegan free, milk free keto all of that in one dish yeah yeah so, so good I'm, for you yeah. yeah you're set for the day now yeah full on Okay, here we are then, Lake Louise Estate Park. Dead easy drive, that one. Dead easy. Just on from the Another Citrus ride. Farm, which you've seen us do a few times. Uh, the monster trucks around the Citrus Farms. That looks like it's closed, but it hasn't. It's just relocated its entrance and everything. And all of its operations, it has changed uh, to just a little bit further down the road. So we just pull up here, pay our $5. And we're in and what's nice is the five dollars is going back into the state park so helping the wildlife and keeping the park nice so i'll have a little uh, wander around pay our five bucks okay so we're in it almost feels a little bit uh, like somewhere in wales or something this I laura it's nice isn't as it as we're driving in very nice and picturesque and uh, the lady did say make sure you definitely check out lake louisa itself the namesake of the park yeah, it's nice just driving on through. Oh, it is you a big can see lake. the lake there. It's I don't be think nice, that's this. Lake Louisa. 
No, I don't think it is. She said it was the first right and the only right. So yeah. you've got the cabin area down to the left. We'll take a look at that uh, in a little bit on the way yeah. back. That's where you can stay in the cabins. They've got a haunted hunt on the 21st of October. Um, and then we've actually got the Lake Louisa with the boardwalk she, the lady recommended when we paid. You can pay by cash or card, $5.00. And that's it, that's your entry. Just tool around and have a little look at what's going on. You can have a little walk. Very picturesque and it's actually, it's, uh, the landscape's a little bit different. It almost looks a little bit, you don't have many hills in Florida, do you? No, it's a you little don't, bit, um, it's quite hilly. It's almost reminded me, giving me sort of Wales vibes and Formby Beach vibes as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite uh, it's windy and hilly. Nice and peaceful so far. I've only seen one or two cars, that's it. So we'll make our way to yeah. the lake, have a little wander. Do enjoy popping to these state parks it's nice to just escape a little bit get a little bit of nature in there yeah they're absolutely beautiful so we've got the campground guided horseback tours and canoe rides further up and lake louisa beach to the yeah. right so you think so that's this, this must be it to the yeah, right so then. it's the first right and the only right in the whole park so we'll go right here do lake louisa first then we're going to have a wander around, see what else is up. Yeah, the campground, find out a bit yeah. more about the horse riding and the kayaks and stuff. Oh yeah, see what's going on with those, yeah. If you've seen our previous vlogs and our previous series, we've been to a few state parks. We also like going to the um, natural springs as well. They're really yeah. good, having a little snorkel and a kayak in the natural springs. We love stuff like that. They're all on the uh, channel, those videos. It's a photography lot, so you can park here to go in and oh, do your photography. Nice. All kinds of different little, little trails you can do. Oh, caution, wildlife crossing. Oh, that'd be nice to see some like proper wildlife, won't it? Yeah, when you go on Google, there's um, loads of great pictures of people who've seen owls and different birds of prey and eagles and things like that. Proper photographers come in the first thing in the morning and hope to see some different things. See, if you look oh, off yeah. to the right, there's all different trails there that you can go and oh, do. Oh yeah, there's some trails. It's a nice All big tree as well, the trees, yeah. So you can pull around. Yes, it's looking nice so far. Yeah, and it's, it's not too uh, baking hot and sunny yet today. It's slightly, it's gone very slightly overcast, which gives which us a nice, nice bit of protection. Exactly, yeah. Because it would be very hot out here. I'd recommend some bug spray as well, if you've got some, just in case. Uh, yeah. We've been silly not having any bug spray, haven't we? I think we'll weird. be okay because the weather, but I think if you come in the summer or when it's humid or just rain, you know, I think, sunrise, sunset. Yeah, I think yeah. at the moment, the way the weather is at this temperature, we'd be okay. But for people who might be visiting at other times of the year, we had literally 30 minute drive from Disney World. This is going to be something very different. Nice, a bit of nature. So, our first bit of nature look at that little turtle. Well, big turtle, he's a big one. Big, yeah. yeah, he's big. just chilling doing nothing hopefully he's all right i think he's just relaxing i think he's just chilling oh. there there you oh. go oh. Oh. it's perfectly fine back into the trees that's nice yeah he was next to the road there you always worry don't you yeah but he's, he's making his way back in that's good oh look at him moves fast does he yeah he's off you've annoyed him he's like oh i was enjoying that peace and quiet then until you came no we didn't disturb oh, him he's go. just chilling there yeah. better him for him to be off the road anyway yeah Got another little turtle here, just making his way across the road, back down into the uh, the grass. They just seem to come out and chill by the roadside, the turtles. You do have to be careful driving around. It's a 25 mile an hour limit. And he's just gone in. We've seen loads of different trails as well as we've gone around, different fitness trails, walking trails. Yeah. So here we all are then, the Lake Louisa boardwalk. Uh, so there's the haunted hike there that's uh, coming up. Saturday, October 21st, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Five dollar donation per person uh, for the haunted hike will be used for park improvements. So that's nice. They're dying to see you. I like that one. But yeah, I was gonna have a little wander through now, see if we spot any wildlife. I think your morning time or evening sunset time would be the best to see things. However, it's not that hot today. No, it's nice. So the, normally the cooler it is, the more sort of wildlife you see. So we'll head and go and see Lake Louisa. This is nice though, it's just a bit of escapism. Smells in here are lovely as well, bit of nature. Love the old school boardwalks as well. That's nice this, you don't realise just how close this is to uh, Disney World and everything. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah, very big. 
So this is actually part of the Palatankaha chain of lakes. So they are all connected. Lake Min Mineola, like Minnehaha, I think it says, and Lake Louisa, which is uh, the bottom one, which is where we are. The hills which surround Lake Louisa were formed thousands of years ago when they were sand dunes along uh, what we now know as the Atlantic Ocean and Gulf of Mexico. Well, this is nice. Here you go. Here's a little look at the lake. You've got a little beach you can actually chill at. Wow. Almost looks like the ocean, doesn't it? But you can actually yeah. see a little beach you can chill at. Wow, we've got a little bit of wind coming off. So it might be a little bit windy. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? Something very different. So, really cool. You've got a little barbecue station here. Kids play area. Laura's just looking at that swing, which has got the little harness over. It's interesting. Yes, great little spot this. Come and have a little bit of lunch. Chill out. Nice breeze. Keeping everything cool. Obviously, you've got to be very careful. I wouldn't go too close to the water's edge with gators and things like that. Snakes and stuff, so you do have to be very careful. Yeah, we're just going to have a little wander along uh, Lake Louisa's edge now. See if we spot anything. I do love all these little ideas, little campground, bring you little barbecues and things. I always say it sounds good and never ever do it. One day we'll, we'll have to do a little bit of camping or something. Okay, you can go right up to the water's edge. There you go, Laura's on the swing. Loving life. Yeah, you know, right up to the water's edge. It's strange, isn't it? it? Looks and sounds and feels like the ocean. It's actually a lake. The way it's uh, rolling up here on the edge with the sand as well. How cool is this as you walk through all the different tree lines? Look at this growing right across the walkway that you've got to walk under. You can actually sit on that as well, get a cool picture up there. I really like it, something for a little bit different, isn't it? Around here. Probably see some really, really nice wildlife. If you really stayed for a long time, really looked for it, you'd probably see an awful lot. Yeah, definitely. You can actually see the fishing hook got stuck up there, is that? Looks like, yeah, fishing line. Stuck up there. I don't know whether you're allowed to fish or not. Someone no, has been. Fish, um, ah, okay. Three dollars a boat for the fishing. So someone's done a little bit of shore fishing there and uh, lost their line up there. What were you saying there, Laura? I said if you see a big six foot alligator, I'm throwing you to it. Aye. Right. Yeah. You'll be fine. You'll be fine I along here. I don't need to outrun the alligator. I just need to outrun you. Get me first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I know, we're right in the depths of nature now. Look at this for a little trail. Right in amongst it now. Right, so just found a little boardwalk to walk along now. Not sure where this leads to, but let's go with it. Ooh. Get ourselves lost. Oh, you see a twig there, did you? <laughs> we'll keep an eye out in all of the tree lines and stuff for any beds or anything. Just enjoying a wander, it's so peaceful. Complete opposite to the parks, isn't it? No yeah, one around, really nature. Place, yeah, true bit of respite, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Reconnect with nature as it were, you know, just chill. I mean, if we just stop talking, all you can hear is the sound of the trees and the wind. Just found the most remote disabled parking in Orlando, Florida here. I don't even know how you get to it I through all of this. Is, to these two disabled parking spaces. $250 fine if you get caught though. I don't know if anyone's out here checking that yeah, though. <laughs> the traffic warden coming down. Oh, you're not disabled, I love you. Let's check uh, what this little sign says here. Yeah, I don't know really how cars get down here to park like that. Let's see what it says on here. So yeah, imagine riding horseback through all of this. That'd be pretty cool, pretty cool. So you go, you've got emergency contact numbers. Uh, you can see some, potentially see some uh, bobcats and uh, can't fly your drones, of course. State park, not allowed to. You can see the bald eagle, potentially. And then a uh, little lost and found information as well. Uh, this is uh, 
it's good isn't it so this is a little lake louisa map we're currently here at the beach you can go along to bear lake you've got here and then you've also got dixie lake as well i am going to ask a question yeah why have we got poison info center there. There's a what poison in for in case you get poisoned or bitten by a snake or something. What's poison? What's venomous here or poisonous here? Snakes. We're in the middle of the we're in the middle of the wild here, Laura. <laughs> no, I think it's very unlikely, but they've got to have the numbers there just in case. You never ever know, do you? Never ever know. And right, everyone's out here having a nice time. Everyone we've seen is just uh, having a nice wander or chilling or relaxing at the beach side there. Butterfly as well. Gorgeous. If you're a photographer, photographer here, in, uh, you're in near Disney World, Universal or anything, come down here, take some nice pictures, observe the wildlife. As Laura's, as Laura's just said, look at that butterfly. Gorgeous. Where's he gone? Down there. There he is. Whee! Right over the camera. Heading into Bay Lake now, and there's an equestrian area camp. So let's take it see. steady on this road, a bit more. Not off, off. it's not off roading, but it's not you know perfectly paved yeah. either. Just take it nice and easy. Oh, yeah, makes it more of an adventure, I suppose. It does, yeah, it? makes you feel like you're more with the wildlife and you're more yeah. in a national park. Just saw a cute little couple, must have been in their 70s, with their little oh. fold up electric bikes on a little bike ride together. Oh, now that's cute, isn't it? Being able to do things like that together. Yeah, so there's 13 miles of horseback riding trails out here. 13. No, 16, I think. 16? Jeez. Yeah. And 16 miles. Yeah, and there's 23 miles of hiking trails. Wow, so if you like your hiking, you're sorted, or bike riding. But the horse, definitely the horseback riding, if anyone's done it here, let us know. That's definitely going to be something to keep in mind for a future trip. Yeah. For sure. Because I would enjoy that because I like him um, horseback rides. And... So we either go left to Bear Lake Parking or we can go to the Equestrian Day Use to the right. Oh, go to the Equestrian Day Use, see what's there. Because yes. the Bear Lake Launch will just be where you launch your boats from. Yeah, down on. So that's another little lake that's connected. Different to the lake we've just yeah. seen. They're all connected. Very nice. That's good fun, isn't it? You wouldn't think this was just down the road, would you? All this huge nature park. I know. You see all these buildings, all the, the pizza huts. Now look at the this, Starbucks. Laura. Oh, my God. Oh. oh. Look at that. Do not open the window. Wow. You know, How about everything. that? Oh, that's grim. For the, oh uh, all of those. That's just covered in cobwebs. And then are these, are those are all, all the little larvae, are they? I think you so. see all the little larvae? If anyone knows, let us know in the comments, but pretty cool to see. It looks like a Christmas tree. That's horrible to see. Wrapped up in all that webbing. Oh, looks like something out of Shrek when you get it all together and eat it like Yeah, when was. he does that, when he catches everything and then woofs it, yeah. Oh, you got... got them moving. Oh, yeah, they're all on. The... They've seen you, Laura. They're coming for you. They're coming for me, don't. <laughs> anyone else feel a bit itchy? Here we go. Some nice people on some nice horses there. They're nice looking horses, aren't they? That looks nice, doesn't it? Having a little horse. Oh. So they must be the owners or the workers or staff here. Yeah. Nice. So this is the equestrian equestrian camp then, just here that we've well, got to. They could be to. their own horses. Yeah, they've probably brought their truck. own horses in the box. Yeah, they'll be oh, on their own little wow. horseback ride. Imagine that. Let's just take the horse down for a little ride. Can't be bad, can oh, it? Wow. So it's a little bit breezy, but we're now at Dixie Lake. Any of you Everton fans out there? Dixie Lake, nice views from here as well. So we've seen the horse riders, we've seen people on bikes who've been having a little wander, other people having a wander. You can launch boats here, you can uh, do a bit of kayaking. More information on the alligators here as well. Respect their space, don't feed them, do not approach them. Uh, newly hatched gators are about 9 to 10 inches long. They grow about 1 foot per year. 
until they, until they are about seven to eight feet long, then continue to grow slowly up to 12 feet or more. The largest gator ever measured was 19 feet long. Wow, massive, massive. So they feed on fish, turtles, snakes, birds, small mammals, uh, little loras. <laughs> Uh, let's have a little view of the lake here. I like these little, uh, there's a guy fishing here. I do like these little um, boardwalks out to the water. Wear it and buckle up, obviously, yeah. Wear your life vests and things. Electronic trolling motors only. No gas powered or motors permitted. There you go, let's have a quick little look. Yeah, let's have a little look here. So we're just chatting to the man fishing, he said, because it is a little bit windier today, very hard to catch something. Waters are a little bit dark today as well, but these are all of the freshwater fish that you can find here in these uh, lakes and waterways. Should have asked him really what he uh, catches most commonly. I think it would be some of these, the red breast, some of these ones you sort of normally see floating around. A couple of different bass as well. Cool and interesting though, loads of information around as well, all those emergency numbers again. And uh, oh, look at this, Laura. The cottonmouth and water moccasin. Look at it. These snakes here. Oh, it's Adult a bit of cottonmouth. A yep. Oof. Don't fancy that, would you? They feed on frogs, fish, rats, mice, and little Laura's as well. Oh, Same as the gators. <laughs> So yeah, loads of wildlife here, you do have to be careful. A brightly coloured with reddish brown crossbands and a yellow tail. That's interesting. Yeah. Scary. Don't harass the animals. There you go, so we've got some photographers over there who've got their tripod set up and everything. They've got bikes on the back as well. Looks like they've been out having oh, a bit of fun. Yes, a bit of bike riding, a bit of photography. Yeah. This is lovely, just so relaxing. You could wander around all day. Oh, you get lost in here for a week. I love how quiet it is as well. Not many people around. It's lovely. So we're going to jump back in our Nissan Rogue and uh, continue on around. I think there's another lake to explore. I want to see those cabins as well. So we've got your guided trail rides just in here. So there's all the horses there. Some little stables. So you'd come down here to on the Saturday and Sunday, wouldn't you? To Saturday and Sunday. You've got to make a reservation, I think, as well. Yeah. Make sure you book it, but yeah, you come down here and this is where you get your guided trail ride from. There's lots Lake of horses. LakeLouisaStatePark.com is where all the information yeah. is. Nice though, isn't it? Nice coming round here on a dog, uh, not dog walk, <laughs> horse, horse ride. ride yes. And I wonder what those white tents are as well. Seem to be a ride for the future for all future trips. So these are your eco tents, so you park up, build your little tent, or they're already built, I don't know. Not sure if they're already built or not because it they, all the wood around them is like original and then the little pop up tent. Yeah, you could they could be already built and you just pay to rent and use them. Yeah, so these are eco tents. So I imagine you make your own fire. Yeah, there's a fire pit right there. You've got just your little toilet just in the center there, and everything's like natural eco. There's a barbecue to cook your dinner on. So, yeah, eco tent. No electricity, I imagine, or very low. Like solar panels. Yeah. Solar panels, I can see them on the corner. So this is somewhere you, you'll come if you're really interested in keeping your emissions low. Yeah, and well, trying if you're something camping new. as well. Yeah. Camping. Definitely worth coming down and having a look. I would not because I'm scared in case a snake comes in or an alligator. Would you not camp well, not in a tent, but would you camp in one of the cabins? If there's no spiders, yeah. Right. <laughs> Yeah, but these are really good if you're into that sort of thing. You want to really get back to nature, like a lot of people do, don't they? Yeah, let us know in the comments if you yeah. think we should camp one, get one trip, guys, for a night or two. Get Laura nice and scared. Oh my God, be like Halloween horror nights. So we've just stopped a little bit further up. You've got the camper canteen there where you can buy some drinks and supplies. And I think you can rent kayaks, canoes, paddle boards and stuff there from just here. There's another couple of eco tents around here as well, like that one over there. They're enjoying a little stay. I'm not going to go too close because obviously someone's staying there. And I'm just going to walk out onto the other little jetty here. See all the kayaks and stuff lined up. Would you rent a kayak, Laura? Probably, yeah. Done it before, haven't we? A couple of times, the kayaks. 
done it at the Silver Springs was really nice as well. That was a little guided kayak tour. Or was it Shingle Creek, I think it was actually, that we did yeah, that. Yeah, we've done that guided tour. They've done a couple of lone tours where, you know, alligators have tried to come and eat us. Oh yeah, so you claim. <laughs> that was in one of the springs, that. Yeah. yeah, this way you just take your little kayak down to the water's edge. And in you go. I mean, it's nice and calm on this lake. There's uh, no real wind like it was on the last oh, couple. Yeah, this is small though. Yeah, that's good though for when you're kayaking around. Yeah, this is perfect for kayaking. Yeah, so you launch your little kayaks in and off you go. Right into the swamp, lily pads. It's not a swamp really, a lake, but marshland, you know what I mean? You can uh, pull up your kayaks and stuff here as well, hop in and out and stuff. Yeah, it's not deep, is it? No, it goes deeper out there. Nice though, isn't it? Just to have a little kayak around, a little tootle about in the morning time. You might see a few gators, a bit more beds and stuff, maybe a few water snakes. How peaceful is it though? Gorgeous, isn't Lovely, it? isn't it? Lovely. Yeah. Imagine at night time as well out here, Laura, in a storm. Got all the, yeah, watching the storm, the lightning in the area, rain hitting the lake, and you're just out here watching. Well, we're going to support the state park and the little camper canteen here and buy a couple of drinks, maybe a little chocolate bar, and then we'll carry on around. Got to get round to the cabins yet, see what they look like. Yeah, do let me know in the comments, would you come and stay here? I think it's good, it's good fun. I think for something a bit different, if you're into a bit of nature and outdoors and walking and kayaking and horse riding, it could be right up your street. Now here's something that I would like to do and mum and dad would love to do as well. There you go, some cyclists there. A Segway tour. Ask us about our off-road Segway tour. That would be that pretty would cool. Be cool. Yeah, I'll do that. We'll ask when we go in now. Okay, so the lovely lady in there gave us lots of information. So here are all the guided tours. You can do horseback trails, uh, off-road Segway tours, guided kayak tours, and hiking tours as well, as well as, well as glamping. Um, now they did say they've got the, the Segway tours are available uh, tomorrow, Thursday, Friday. They've got the horseback riding every day as well. So she said on the website, you're probably looking at one of the special events, which is Friday, uh, on Saturday and Sunday. But the horseback riding is available every day as well, so you can call them, make a reservation. It all runs from this office. And then obviously you go off to your horse riding or your kayaking or Segway. Sound really good. Good value as well. Yeah. So for the Segway tour, you get an hour. It's $40 and you do like four miles off road. That's really good. It's pretty cool. Now an hour might not sound long, but on a Segway it is, after a while, your legs get a bit sore, yeah. don't they? They do, yeah. That's pretty cool, that. Um, Something to bear in mind. Am I? Oh wow, there he is. <laughs> so if you were worried about Halloween, oh, he's here. Watch Michael him. Myers is here. Oh, that's scary, I've just that. Seen them then. Imagine if you were staying here overnight though and you just saw Michael Myers in the trees. Oh, don't. Just stood You'll there leave. watching. <laughs> <laughs> so, but just uh, pulling around now, you can see some of the real serious camper homes here now where they're all rigged up and plugging into the power supplies. So this is in the top 100 of America campsites around here. And what the lady was saying was weekends are obviously the most busy, but they are actually heading into their peak season now as well. This is when people from probably a lot of the colder states come up and camp and yeah. set up. Have you seen this one, Laura? You wouldn't notice, would you? If you see them closely, oh what's in the windscreen? There's a cat! There's a cat just <gasps> napping away there, loving oh, life. Look at just that. chilling, having a nap. You've got this big caravan parking up here. Oh, that's a big one, isn't it? Yeah. That'll have a nice big double bed. Nice big kitchen, living area. A bit of AC going on. And then on. we've got that little one. I think he's just a lone man on his own, just loving life. I think so, yeah. People come down, fish, walk, yeah. just camp, cook a bit of barbecue. Get away from the hustle and bustle of work. And yeah. I know he's got a partner in the car, so that's just a little two-man... Yeah. Yeah. He's Aww. lowering it down electronically, if you can see it going down. I don't know whether he's loading up to go home or... Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So we're in the section where they park all the big camper homes now yeah we're yeah, moving around to the next little section but yeah great information definitely going to be doing that segway tour on a future trip 
and that hopefully the horse riding as well i'd like to do that for something a bit different yeah i love horse riding and i think you might like it because it's really chilled and relaxing yeah, yeah. the horse is all well behaved there you go Look proper that. little campground this with the big campers yeah shower and laundry facilities in there so you can shower and launder and oh god some big camper vans are in there yeah, they're big big yeah and then some diddy ones Oh, but it's nice though, isn't it? You could just come down here with your caravan and just chill out. Chill out, yeah. It's nice. I mean, look at the size of this one. That's like a three bedroom penthouse, that is. It's a beast, isn't it? <laughs> and you got some of the other yeah. like, little one here. I mean, this is still a nice one as well. Look how big that is. Nice big living room and bathroom and bedroom. Wildy. Yeah, I mean, they do know how to travel out here, don't they? Yeah. They know how to camp. If this is what you're into, I mean, you're probably somewhere you could probably rent an RV in Kissimmee or Orlando and come and do all this stuff. Oh, yeah. If this is your thing. This is a big, this is a really big area as well. And all the lots, I've got a little picnic bench in them as well. Yeah. This is definitely so the biggest uh, biggest state park we've been to over oh, the years, definitely. I think, so far. And because it's got the campground as well, it's really good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah I do really love that. Good. The sound of those segways sound great off road, four miles. $40 for an hour. Oh, definitely. Good value. And again, it goes back into the state park, so you quite like it because any money they make is going back into all of this, keeping it's, it yeah, clean. Yeah, it's not going into some big fish's pocket, is it? No, it's uh, keeping all the facilities nice. There's even yeah. more campgrounds around that way. Oh, wow. So these are the cabins that we can see from the other side of Lake Louisa. They look absolutely beautiful. And look at those views. Now, I would stay in one of these cabins. You'd stay in one of them. You'd be happy with yeah. one of them. Yes. They are gorgeous. Let's just wake up in the morning to that. Could you imagine it? I wonder how much they are. Um, I think we might have prices on here starting from $120 a night, maybe. Or it could be a bit more. But they are nice. Trying to have a little bit of a closer look if we can. They look really cool, don't they? I know, yeah. look really interesting. That one right down there on the right on the front. The water. Just get up in the morning, open your, your front door, and you're there with nature. You could find an alligator on your step, you could find an eagle, a crane bed, anything. It'd just be absolutely amazing just to be able to wake up and see that and listen to it overnight. Yeah. Could you imagine all the all noise? Stilts and stuff, no one, no one would be able to come and get you, Laura. No, yeah, they're all good. But I like the look of the way they've got like the little canopy yeah, areas out the front. outside, out the front, yeah, where you can... Where you'd sit with your cup of coffee. Yeah. Let's see if we can have a little bit of a closer look. I'm not going to try and go in or anything, just have a little look yeah. at what they look like. Just want to have a little bit of a closer look. So you've got a barbecue out the front, your own little private parking spaces. And yeah, look at this little outside area. Imagine if you've got a bit of a storm going on and you could be out here just looking out on all of that, look at that. Looking out from there on a storm, all protected by the fly nets. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Just love the aspect. I mean, look at that, the way, you, the way you'd be looking out onto the lake. I'd love to see inside, see what the bedrooms are like oh and stuff. Nice. Probably pretty basic, but it's a proper, proper state park. I know you've got similar at, uh, you know, all the campgrounds around Animal Kingdom and stuff, haven't you? You've got those lodges and proper, that. Though, isn't it, as well? I mean, Animal Kingdom's great. Yeah. Stay in, Let's have a quick look. Yeah, it's completely out of it, isn't it? Let's have a quick yeah. look down here. A little walkway down to this bit. So like almost like a little back garden, front garden type of thing. Yeah, look at that. You've got a little fire pit. You can do a bit of cooking. Views out of the lake. Yeah, I mean, look at that. It's proper rustic old school, that, isn't it? Look at it. Be really old school sitting out here. Get your hot dogs on and your burgers. You'd probably meet people and have a chat with other people down the way. And there's the lake right there. Imagine some of the sights and sounds you'd hear, some of the wildlife people have seen over the years as well. Staying in there. But let me know in the comments, would you stay in this? Or is this just like, whoa, completely off your... Uh, radar would you uh, come and stay here would you stay in this 
out on the lake, do a bit of cooking here, or would this be sort of out of your comfort zone? Do let us know. Proper old school, this isn't it? Proper. Uh, it looks like you get quite a few in there. Definitely three or four bedrooms, I think. You sleep a large family in there. Yeah, look at the view you've got though. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Great recommendation this was. So, Ray, if you're watching, thank you very much for the recommendation and the comment. Uh, we do read all of your comments, all of your recommendations. Uh, a lot of what people have commented this time, we have done on previous trips. So do make sure you check out the other series uh, of Florida Vlogs because we have done a lot of what you're recommending we do. But yes, Ray did recommend this one and uh, we've had a great few hours here. So thanks very much. Okay, so on the way back from our little visit to the state park, we're going to try Miller's Ale House here on the 192. Gonna give it a go. We've seen lots of great reviews about it. Yes, we're gonna see what. Let's give it a try. See what options here. they've got gluten free for you, Laura. And then we're heading in to Hollywood Studios. So exciting little day today. Let's try Miller's out. A lot of you uh, absolutely love this. If you come here, let me know. Let's see what you get. I think this is the one that gives you a little like a bread, little bread basket thing when you start and stuff. Nice. So we'll uh, we'll find out. We've got deals of the day on the door already. What's the deal of the day on a Tuesday? Kids eat free on a Tuesday. There you go. Ooh, that's all right, isn't it? And you can also get a uh, barbecue baby back ribs for fifteen ninety nine. Um, you got lunch deals as well until two p.m. Now oh, let's go and give it a go. Well, sorry to say, everyone, we just weren't really feeling Miller's. We um, sat down and just a few things just sort of put us off. Nothing bad or anything. We just weren't really feeling it. We asked about a gluten free menu and an allergy menu on the way in. He was like, he didn't have a clue what we were talking about with gluten or anything so I was a bit concerned about Laura's eating and then we looked at the menu sat down and everything they got us seated and we're looking through the menu and there's loads of V's for vegan and stuff but nothing showing the gluten free so Good shame, really. yeah we just decided we're gonna try somewhere somewhere else instead it's just one of those things nothing against Miller's we'll probably try it another time but we just weren't really feeling it where we were sat and stuff it was a little bit chilly as well so let's head uh, further down the highway We'll find, so there's plenty to choose from. We'll find something else further along the highway. We'll try this another day. Just wasn't quite the right vibe today. Rock and Brews it is. We enjoyed it last time. We really liked it. It was just across the road from Miller's. So we're going to pop in here. I'll have a burger. And Andrew, you might have, have a burger. burger. or some chicken. Yeah, we enjoyed it in here last time. Didn't do it on our last trip. And it was just across the way there on the highway. Yeah, thought, so yeah, let's thought, go why not? For it. It's meant to be, I think. Yeah. Sometimes don't be afraid to change your plans. If you're not feeling somewhere either, don't be afraid exactly. to uh, leave and go somewhere else. So here we go. Let's have a look. I can't remember what I had last time. Neither can I, but there's plenty nice on there. Filet mignon, sweet heat fried Ooh, chicken. They look nice as pizzas. And different craft burgers. I might get a. I think I had a chicken sandwich. Last I think time. it might have. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice in here. A bit similar vibe to hard rock with the music but a bit less heavy but it will yeah. be loud so it will be a little bit more difficult to vlog this one with the music and copyright and stuff but today let's uh, go on inside so here you go this is what it looks like inside absolutely amazing we're gonna head outside though where it's uh, a little bit warmer from the air con yeah good steaming around in here so you've got the bar out the back where you can just sit anywhere and then inside you've got all the other seating with the bar behind as well all your different uh, rock stars over the years and pop stars. Yeah, I think we'll take a seat here. Oh, look at him. So, food's arrived. I've gone for the burger. The chips aren't gluten free in here, so I've gone for loads of mashed potatoes. They look really good. The nice burger looks amazing with the melted cheese. And just gone for a chicken sandwich with cheese and bacon, and the fries look amazing. Oh, nice. They look stunning. It's a bit of a build my own sandwich, isn't it? Yeah, so, yeah, you didn't feel like anything else, so you asked for that. A blackened chicken with cheese and bacon, and it looks really good. It's good, yeah. Yeah. Good so am I. That looks really nice. Does it taste as good as it looks? It's nice. It does look really good. Nice one, like a sheer batch of bread for a change. Yeah. Something different, isn't it? Perfect. Yeah, good. I'm glad you're Just joining it. I must say those potatoes thank you are amazing they're, they're really good i'm really enjoying them you would like them let's have a little taste yeah 
Okay, so Rock and Brew's all done. We're rounding it off out here in terms of the restaurant because it's uh, got the music on in there. I didn't want Michael Jackson giving me a strike. Yeah. But yeah, it was a nice little atmosphere. Food was decent. Uh, my chicken could have been a little bit softer, but it was uh, still pretty spot on. Yeah, it was nice. I'd still time. go back. Man, it was nice. Yeah, my cheese. Um, you love that mash, didn't lovely, you? Yeah. And nice. how much was the bill then, Laura? Let's see. Thirty-seven fifty, and then forty thirty one with the tax on top. So not bad. Not too bad. No. Not too bad. Anyway, we're going to make a move to uh, Hollywood Studios now. We're going to get ourselves there, get ourselves in for the last couple of hours. Hopefully be a bit uh, quieter. Yeah. And the last couple of hours we found in the parks really does quieten off. So, but yeah, Rock and Brew's there on 192. We'll definitely give it a shout. It is decent. And I uh, enjoyed that chicken sandwich. was nice. I like the blackened seasoning on it. It was good. Yeah. Right, let's uh, stride on. Just look at that lovely little rainbow. You can just see a little shower there. That's nice. nice. I wonder if we'll be able to see the end of the rainbow. Find the, the pot end of, of gold. The, the, the end of the rainbow, I would say, is almost uh, Animal Kingdom there. Looking towards Animal Kingdom over there. Yeah, just off to the left, there'll be Sherbeth Road oh, in a minute. Yeah. Animal Ooh, Kingdom. Let's see. I think I might be able to see the end of it. Oh, that'll be nice. Huge pot of gold to get us another Florida trip. <laughs> yeah. Hi, yeah. Uh, I've forgotten it, but it's here on the phone. Okay. Can I just see a photo ID for you? Yeah. Stella, you're good to go. Have a great evening. Thank you. So we did forget the cards. Uh, to be honest, I thought we were going to be going home and then back out first to collect the cards. But Andrew has got them both on the app. Yeah. So we still got in fine. Just got to get through the gates now. But as long as you've got the tickets on your phone and ID, to, you can get in. Yeah. You can always go to guest services or whatever. Um, a lot of the time now, when we're paying for stuff anyway, they want to see it on your phone because it's got the expiration date on yeah. it. Whereas the cards don't. I know. Oh, we're getting stopped. Let one of these cars go. Nice sky with the skyliner and the sunshine. And the Hollywood um, Tower of Terror right there. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Well, you can all stand under my umbrella if it starts to rain. <laughs> I'll be singing in the rain as we head into Hollywood Studios. Thankfully, it's not raining. It was a bit of a shower before, but there's a few ominous clouds. So we're bringing the umbrella in, Just in case. which I like to use as a walking stick. <laughs> so plan for this evening, uh, heading in for the last couple of hours, we're going to try and do Toy Story Mania. Possibly Slinky Dog Dash, two rides we haven't done yet this trip. Yeah. And then see what else takes our fancy. See what the queue times are like, see what the ride times are like. I think if it did rain, it would uh, would benefit us actually, because I think even more people would leave. But that's the plan. Bit of Toy Story Mania. Gonna put a little wager on it, Laura. You always win. Yeah, you beat me last time oh, though yeah, on Space Ranger Spin. Oh, yeah, I did. Didn't you beat me. Care. What are you thinking? You'll win, you'll still. What's the bet? Um, I'll make a cup of tea when we get home if you win. Oh, I'm buzzing. Can't wait. <laughs> Can't wait. I don't even drink tea when I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we are then. Hollywood nice. Studios. One of our favourite parks. This has got to oh, be, hasn't it? Is. it? Yeah, it's, it's mine. It is. Yeah. I think so. We might even, may even catch a bit of Fantasmic tonight. You never know. You never know. I'm not too cold. You're cold? I'm chilly. Come on, Laura. I'm chilly tonight. It's like 80 odd degrees. I know, but I'm chilly. Come on. <laughs> Trust you. Right, we've just got to uh, try and get in without our passes now. Let's see how we get on here. Love it when it all lights up in here at night time. Yeah. Right, here we go then, Laura. It's time to. Give you a whooping. Oh, you always win. I'll time you hardest though. No, I'm gonna give you a whooping here. 55 minutes only said 30 or 20, 25 it said uh, 10 minutes ago. So I'm hoping that hasn't changed that much in that time. We'll see it's how long it takes. It said 25 minutes, that's why we headed straight here. Okay. Let's see how we get on here. Well, not a bad wait, about 20 minutes or so. Yeah, that's not bad. Right outside. No. Oh, nice wait, anyway. It's good, I'm happy. I'm well happy. Nice, hope you're prepared. You're warmed up. Warmed up, ready to lose. Key, key tip 
don't waste your energy on the practice yeah, game. Exactly. I'm so ready for this. Get your glasses on. There you go. Now we're ready. Now we're ready. Protective eyewear for your weapon. Okay, so here's the practice game. This is the one where you don't waste your energy. Get a sort of get a feel for it, but don't waste your energy. Bang, 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 bang. I like getting buzz in the face. Get him in the face, right in the face. There you go. Right, get Jesse in the face and all. Hey, get on that, Jesse. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, here we go. That was a close game. Very close game. Laura was whooping me at one point. I got some big scores. Here comes the big reveal. Here we go. Oh, oh Laura won. Laura won. Ah, you've got to get a cup of tea now, haven't you? You only won a cup of tea. Could have been a lot more. Could have been a lot more. Oh, did you get the best in vehicle, Laura? Oh no, someone else got more than you. Ah, it's a good game that, love that. Well, if you go on that with the family, make sure you have a little bit of a bet. A little bit of a, someone gets the next drinks or someone gets, you know, breakfast or whatever. It's good fun, it makes it more of a challenge. So, uh, I owe Laura a cup of tea, that's good for me. Because I normally beat Laura on that. Laura all of a sudden has got good at all these games. And I've gone downhill. Back to what you've been working I know. I've gone down earlier. Uh, so we've just seen on the app that the um, another ride we haven't done this trip, Millennium Falcon, is uh, quite a low wait time. Only 15 minutes, so we're going to go and try and jump on that while it's low. We kind of think a lot of people are heading to Fantasmic, which is making the, the lines a little bit lower, which is good. So we'll try and get on that. We haven't been on that for, didn't think, I don't think we went on it last trip either, so. I haven't been on it for a couple of trips. Nice fresh ride. Just gorgeous round here at night. All the colours on the buildings. So this is our next little ride. Looking forward to this. I always forget about this ride. Because everyone just goes straight for Miles of Resistance. 20 minutes. Here you go, 20 minute wait. Spot on. You know, some of the characters out there doing a little bit of a meet and greet. Right. Will you be captain, Laura? That's the question. You like to be captain on this, don't you? <laughs> I'm normally always a gunner, always normally. Your control manual system check. Let's see what they can do. It's just so immersive, these queue lines. better we work together, Laura, the more we earn. Remember that, will you? There's a few let me down, I'll be fuming. Oh, your, tea, your cup of tea will be cold if you let me down here. You've had your warm-up on Toy Story Mania, I want some real good, you know, shooting and scoring and... You let us down and we lose the bounty. I mean, maybe it's a good This is a, this is a, just, just FYI, this is a straight walk-on, basically. There is no 20-minute line on this. Lovely. Press all the buttons. That was the instruction coming in. Press all the buttons, Laura. We are engineers. Hope so. Just kidding. Ah, a brand new flight crew. Good luck to you all. You might need it. Today's flight takes you to the planet Gorelia. You will be intercepting a first order train shipment of Coaxia. Here we go. All right. All right. Make sure your bags are off and seatbelts are buckled. Once you get buckled in, pull up on the yellow strap so it is safe and sound. Safety is our number two priority, after all. Before we open it, pull the open tank. So press the flash of buzz and power us up. Hey, here we go, Laura. Flight engineer, repair test. Hit your flashing button. Better be faster when we get into real trouble. Right, pilot? Push the flashing button to take off. Pilot on the left. Move your stick to fly right and left. I was just about to say that. Pilot on the right. Pull back on the stick to fly out. And push forward to fly down. Oh, no. 
Dark now as we got outside and it's just got even more beautiful since riding. Good little ride that, I do it's much ride, prefer... More an experience. Yeah, more of an experience. I do much prefer being a, a pilot. Yeah, you seem to do more when you're Get a little bit more, yeah, we're engineers. You just click a few buttons, but we're still brilliant. Look at that now though. If you're into your Star Wars and stuff, you've got to come in here at night and just soak up the details. Get some pictures. All the light work, you see all the you know all the little flashing buttons and stuff and oh, super cool. We're gonna head now hopefully to uh, a ride that we failed to complete on our last visit here. Yeah. Which was uh, Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway. It broke down last time if you've first seen that vlog. Yeah, we got evacuated if you've seen that vlog. So we're now gonna try and go and do that again. It's only a 30 minute wait. Judging by these wait times, they're all a bit overinflated anyway. So uh, that's good for us. Let's see what we see how we get on. So far, so good. Our little last couple of hours in parks is really working well. Really working well. I posted up the recommendation for Horror Nights doing the same thing. The last two, two and a half hours in Horror Nights, and uh, everyone was loving that advice and joining in, saying that that advice is correct uh, in the in the groups for Horror Nights. So I think it's, it stands for all the parks really, I think we've got to go out to the right Laura, but what, again what a view, look at that, I'm going to get a nice picture of that. Walking through, I just love the lights, I've mentioned it before but now it's fully dark. Yeah, now Slinky Dog Dash down again, that's twice we've been in and Slinky's been down, a few of you have picked up on the fact that a lot of the rides have been down for this trip. I think it's just all down to demand and capacity and how many people are on them all day long. But yeah, I don't think we've had a trip with uh, quite so many rides down but if you're wearing the queue line you do get given an express pass to use on another ride uh, there is ways around it and you do get you know a little kickback for it in a way they'll give you an express pass to do something else and it's just down to demand and wear and tear and how busy the rides are i think but yeah this is another new place we could not quite get into so far this trip i don't think we're going to the Roundup Rodeo Barbecue, that's the new restaurant, yeah. all themed on Toy Story and right, cast members act and drop to the floor and stuff. It looks really cool, but getting a reservation, oh, very, very hard. Yeah, hopefully next trip we'll get to do that one. Here we go then, take two. Hopefully a smooth one on this one this time. Around the park, and thank you for sticking with me. 
Fine, picnickers. Told you nothing was gonna go wrong. <laughs> Nothing can stop us now, Laura. I don't know how. <laughs> it happened. <laughs> right, we're now going to head for an ice cream and hopefully a ride on Tower of Terror. Oh, you booked that hotel again, Laura. You keep booking hotel. it, don't you? I'm, I'm going to take over the Airbnb account now. You're not booking any other hotels. I book amazing hotels. Do you just literally jump on and search Dark Side of Hollywood? Yeah. Worst rated. <laughs> Oh boy. But yeah, hopefully we're gonna get a nice brownie Sunday and a little ride on Tower Terror. Plenty of people gathering for the uh, oh, little the show here. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 It's just the best scene, isn't it? Having a look at that and lit up at night. You can't beat a nighttime ride on Tower of Terror in the dark. You just can't beat that. That is one of the best views. That for me almost beats the uh, Magic Kingdom Castle, that, oh, yeah, that view yeah, right there. Amazing, Knowing you're going on now, going in the dark. Oh yeah. Hollywood scoops to round off a great ride on the Hollywood Tower Hotel ride. Yeah, it was literally a walk on. Tower of Terror was yeah, good, wasn't it? Amazing. Really quick. Loved it. Love it at night. Looking out the window in the dark. We had a good crowd with us as well. Oh, a lively crowd. Oh, crowd. yeah, live. They were good fun, though. <laughs> yeah. Here we go, then. What a way to round off the day. The Mickey Brownie Sunday. This is the best one. Yeah, this beats the Magic Kingdom one, and Laura's got the just a regular Sunday. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Well, a demolished mine. That's got to be one of the nicest treats and snacks in Disney, that. The, that Mickey-shaped brownie is just gorgeous. Different, completely different to, although it looked the same, completely different to one of the one in Magic Kingdom yesterday. The Mickey yeah, brownie makes, seem, makes a difference. They seem to have, like, different... Slightly different way of doing it, don't we? Not even a different way of doing it, like different labels. What, what, different what, brands, different, different brands, yeah. Yeah, same with my gluten-free buns. Yeah, so it's a different brownie in the Magic Kingdom one. That is way nicer, that Mickey shaped one. Lovely that. Yeah. The hot fudge as well. That's just a perfect treat. I know. Perfect treat. This is the big standby line, just he heading into Fantasmic. We're not going to be doing that tonight. Uh, we're going to let them all head in. We're probably just going to wander through the shops and head out. It's been a long day, hasn't it? Busy little day. Yeah. So just on the way out, going through the shops, and we've got all new merchandise here. Uh, new spirit jerseys, these are all with the fireworks on. You got the little bag down there as well. Tracksuit pants to go with it. Tracksuit jumper. And then these new ears as well with the fireworks on. I think they light up as well, do they? Yeah, they light up. The fireworks on, Disney 100, they're $40. And then we got a new lounge fly as well. Yeah, with the fireworks on. Nice. <laughs> We're all playing a bit of horn wars, it's fun. <laughs> oh, the struggling now. It's all finished now. It was good fun. Everyone was playing a bit of horn wars, it was funny. Because on the locks on these cars, when you press the lock button, the horn goes off, which helps you locate your car in these big car parks. Really good, clever feature. And uh, people obviously start clicking the buttons, but 
people were clicking the buttons and then I clicked it back and then they clicked it back and then I clicked it a few times and it went on and on and then I only just managed to film the last little bit. Yeah. They were involved as well. They were doing theirs. It's quite funny. It was fun. Well, that is it for today's vlog. Do please hit the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe as well. We've got lots more Florida content on the way. Fantastic day. I really do like Hollywood Studios at night. All the lights, it does have a lovely feel to it. And we've got quite a lot of rides done. They do definitely quieten off later on in the day, so something to consider. But uh, thank you very much for watching and stride on.